Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and today we're going to be checking out the tactical ops event that is currently going on. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, here we are. Here's the tactical ops pass or battle pass, whatever you want to call it. Or event pass whatever floats your boat but here we are and here's all the rewards so let's just take a little quick stroll through the rewards give my thoughts on it um, and yeah let's talk about it so the first one is claw patrol which I actually really like to stance it's just your guy with a BR pretty cool I like that the visor on the other hand is okay you know not bad it's all right and then we got a little charm Emil pretty nice and then we got a backdrop which I actually really like this backdrop it's a lone wolf backdrop, which is really cool. It's kind of funny, too, considering that season two is called Lone Wolves. And we're getting, like, this lone wolf thing. So it's kind of like a little little tease of what's to come kind of sort of thing. And so now we're on the fifth tier, which is what everyone came for. Let's be real here. Everyone wants the Mark V helmet. So this is Mark V Zeta, 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 I think it's Zeta, I don't know, which whichever one floats your boat, but uh, yeah, this helmet looks freaking awesome, definitely the best thing out of the entire pass in my opinion. So moving on to the sixth tier, we got like this weird Iron Man chest thing, and we got some like pouches on it, it looks pretty cool, although that little circle thing is kind of weird, um, but not bad. So now we're on the seventh tier, and this one has like little gas grenades or something, I don't know. It has like grenades, a little radio, a uh, pouch for like ammo and stuff. Pretty sweet. Number eight, here we have a freaking glove, which looks like an Iron Man glove once again. It kind of like matches with this one, because you could kind of see like how it matches. It has like a little circle. Seems like these are kind of like meant to be together, I don't know, at least by the looks of it. But uh, yeah, it has like a little circle thing on your glove. And yeah, I must say it is nice finally having like a way to like change your gloves because I don't think we really had anything for the Mark, what, what's it called? Mark 7? The Spartan Core, whatever it's called. We didn't really have like gloves for it. Not even in the shop, so it's really nice seeing this. At least from my knowledge, I'm pretty sure. And on the ninth tier, we got Scorpion Punch, which was actually in the flights, and I did enjoy this one a lot. It's, like, very simple and basic, because it's really just black and a red arm, um, but I don't know. It just looks really cool. So now we're on the final tier, which is this weird faceplate thing that you get for your Mark V helmet. Um, not that exciting or great uh, as a final tier reward, but it's not bad either. Um, so yeah, that's all the rewards, you know, let me know what you guys think. It looks alright, this one's kind of eh, I don't know, I mean if you want to look like a robot, I guess that's cool. Alright, so here we are on the Tactical Ops event, otherwise known as Tactical Slayer, whoa, we haven't seen it before. This time we get manglers and sidekicks. And it took me so long to get a mangler match because mangler SWAT, in my opinion, is actually like pretty interesting because the mangler like has projectile drop off. Where like when you shoot, you know the projectile actually drops as you can see. And so it actually makes it a lot more fun in my opinion. Um, you know, there's there's times where people do just two shot you, which is fine, but if you master the mangler and get like headshots. Um, you're set like look at this you see that oh I could have gone a triple almost but uh, yeah like there's kind of like some skill to this weapon which is really cool and it makes SWAT so much more interesting because of that because of that little projectile drop off it really does a lot boom look at that see <laughs> it's so cool like I feel like rewarded when I hit those shots because you know it, it's not the most difficult thing to do but it's not the easiest either but uh, yeah, overall this event, I'm not gonna lie, I mean the, the event pass, it's sick man, we get like some sick armor pieces, cool helmet, um, nice coating as well, you get a lot of good stuff, I think the entire pass is pretty good, you get like something good for each tier pretty much. But the mode itself is just so lackluster because it's literally just tactical slayer with like a couple new weapons, which don't get me wrong is nice. But 
it's not an event it's more of a playlist update and so it's like this is just not event material honestly none of their events they do have really been event material because if you look at so many other games when they do events you know it's like an event it feels like you're in an event and unfortunately in halo infinite it doesn't it's just the same stuff and you just get like some cool new pieces of armor and stuff so I really hope within Season 2, the events are a lot more unique and interesting. Because Season 1, the Season 1 events were just not interesting at all. Except for the Cyber Showdown event, that was probably the most interesting one. Challenges just make this whole event so much worse because you literally have to like freaking get like what, like 7 BR kills and if you don't get a BR swap match then you're pretty much screwed and it's like so annoying because like I've had like seven matches, like I'm not even joking, I've had to leave like seven matches straight just so I could get like a side, or no, I think it was sidekick, or it might have been Mangler. R regardless, it was like one of those, and I had to get like sidekick kills, and like I could not get a freaking sidekick match, so it was so freaking annoying. And this video might have just kind of turned into a rant, but you know, I'm just giving my honest thoughts, and it, it's ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And if you look at my scoreboard right now, look how many people I've left. And you know why? Because they probably didn't get the one they wanted. And so it just encourages people to leave. And it's just absolutely, it's just awful, man. Like, I just don't understand how 343 really thought that this challenge system was going to work. And it, it just really annoys me. It really does. It bothers me a whole ton because this game has been in development for how long? And they can't even get an XP system. Like, it just really triggers me. Um, but anyways, alright, enough of me being a little negative. <laughs> Um, let's just try to enjoy the gameplay here, even though there's not much to do, because there's, like, no one playing, because everyone left. <laughs> oh, there's someone joining back in right now. Um, but wow, man, I mean, jeez. You know, I just had to get that off my chest, you know, I'm giving my honest thoughts. I really hope the events change, but, uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, come on, that was a headshot. I swear that was a freaking headshot. I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat, sugarcoat anything here. Because there's just no reason to. Like, I want them to improve the game. So I'm not gonna freaking just be positive because I have to. Like, it just, no. I'm giving my honest thoughts. And I hope 343 3 fixes, like, these event systems. Because, like, it is so freaking annoying, man. Yeah, so this match has been pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie. There's, like... There's not that many people playing. I haven't gotten many kills because people are leaving. Um, so yeah, this is, this was pretty lame. I'm not going to lie with you guys. There we go. I didn't even get that kill. <laughs> oh my god. My teammates were too good this match. That was interesting. I wish I had that kind of teammates in ranked. Alrighty guys. Well, that was a tactical ops event. Um... Really nothing special. It was pretty average. Um, these events really need to change. Let me know what you guys think. Um, the rewards are awesome. You know, I'll give them credit there. I think they have something here. The way the events work now is where you get items for playing. It's just that, like, the challenge system and the mode itself that comes with the event needs to change. Like, this could probably be improved as well. Um, making it so... I don't know. Actually, I think this is fine. It's just the challenge system... And the playlist that comes along with this event. Like, if they did, like, a more interesting event on, like, a new map or something. Or just change the map up a bit. Like, make it, like, make it so we play, like, Bizarre at night. And maybe it's, like, maybe all gu all the guns have, like, flashlights or something. And it's, like, super dark. And, like, so it makes it feel more tactical and you gotta be, like, more careful. I don't know, man. They could, like, spice it up. Make it interesting. It doesn't even have to be, like, something super, like like a new mode or anything it, it could just be like unique make it unique in some way um and they could have done that and then as for the challenge system like that thing just needs to be overhauled needs to be like put aside they need to make like an xp system where you just play you get these rewards just by playing the event mode and yeah you just level up through it just by playing the mode and that's it instead of doing these ridiculous challenges that like makes you get like seven mangler kills and then you gotta wait like 10 20 matches until you get a mangler one it's just so annoying and so like there's just so much they could do with this event or this event system and so yeah that's my thoughts um there's so much that could be improved here the event pass um i think i'm okay with it i think it's all right 
um, you know, you just it's just a challenge system and the playlist that comes with these events that like really just bring down the experience. Um, you know, they could they need to make it more unique, make it feel like you're in an actual event. Um, and with that being said, let me know what you guys think. That's a tactical ops, tactical slayer event, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Consider subscribing, liking, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.